I recently returned from a Steubenville South conference and I had a great time and all the youth that went along with us, they also had a great time. Steubenville conferences can always be counted on to have great speakers, to have great hosts, to have amazing music, but the number one thing that everybody always comments on is how amazing the adoration is. And I have to agree, the adoration there at the Steubenville conferences is outstanding. And God works powerfully in these conferences. And so what really stands out to people when they go home, they always say, man, the adoration, it was amazing. I really felt God touched my heart. And so I ask myself, why? Why at the Steubenville conferences does God touch the hearts of the young people, touch the hearts of the chaperones in such a profound way? The answer is reverence. Now you might not think of it as reverence. You might say, wow, how do you mean reverence? They've got music playing, they've got uh, youth you know, raising their hands, praying in charismatic style sometimes. But reverence, what is reverence? Reverence is treating God as if He's God. And when we do that, that opens our hearts, that makes us more disposed, that's an act of faith where Jesus can work in our lives through that. So one thing we can all learn from the Steubenville conferences is to show extreme reverence. The children, the young people at the Steubenville conferences are encouraged to kneel. They ask, please kneel down and let's praise God, let's worship God, let's speak to God in our hearts. And it's so powerful. Well, one thing we can do is apply this same reverence, this same spirit of adoration in our Mass. Not only at the Mass at the Steubenville Conference, but at the Mass at everywhere in our parishes. If we had the same spirit of reverence, the same spirit of adoration fostered through our Mass, not just with the clergy really treating each individual host like if it's really, truly, substantially the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, not just treating, treating each host if it's really God, not only encouraging a spirit of adoration, but also encouraging the young people. Just be as before in the Steubenville Conference and the, during the adoration, they're encouraged to kneel before God. Why not also encourage the young people to kneel before God as they receive Him in Holy Communion? If kneeling before God in adoration makes us more disposed, why wouldn't kneeling before God in our reception of Him in the most holy sacrament of the altar also make us better disposed. Why not carry over this same spirit into the Mass as well so that we don't go to conferences and we have people falling over and crying for an hour straight because God is working so powerfully in their life and then the very next day they receive Jesus in Holy Communion very nonchalant. We don't want this. We want our young people to be holy. We want to encourage young people to love Jesus in the Eucharist in the best way possible. So to the Steubenville Conference coordinators, I say excellent job. I would highly, strongly recommend we we carry over this spirit of adoration, this true spirit of reverence before our Lord in the most holy sacrament of the altar. We carry this over by encouraging our young people to kneel, by providing an healer to encourage the young people to take advantage of their right to kneel before their Lord when they receive Him in Holy Communion. How much more powerful will their experience be at the Steubenville Conference? To all you youth leaders, all you youth coordinators who are in charge of your youth, strongly encourage them, not just at the Steubenville Conferences, but also in your own parishes, to kneel before our Lord, to bring this same spirit of adoration back from conference and, and make it alive in their life by kneeling before their Lord in every reception of Holy Communion. Whether or not they provide a, a kneeler or an altar rail, it doesn't matter. They're young, their knees are really strong, and let's have this same spirit of adoration. And to you young people who might be watching this, I strongly encourage you with all my heart, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to treat Jesus as if He's really, truly, substantially present, body, blood, soul, and divinity, even in just one host. And I strongly encourage you to kneel every time you receive Holy Communion, and to kneel when you go to the Steubenville conferences, even if they don't encourage you to kneel, even if they don't provide you with a kneeler. You're young, you're strong. In the adoration on the Steubenville conferences, you kneel on the bare concrete for over an hour. Come on, my friends, let's kneel for just two seconds to have our Lord enter our body in our most humble position. Our outward actions truly do impact our dispositions. When I say I love somebody, I treat them like I love them. I can't just say, oh, I, they know I love them in my heart. No. How do we know we have faith? Our faith, we show our faith through our actions. You show me your faith with no actions and I'll show you my faith through my actions. You show me your love with no actions and I'll show you my love with my actions. All right, God bless everybody. Congratulations on your Steubenville conferences. They're the best. I've never been to another conference quite like it. And also strongly encourage the young people to kneel and to be radical. You have the power to change the church. You get all of our youth from all of our parishes. If you strongly encourage them to, to show reverence to our Lord in the sacrament, they'll bring it back to their parishes. And their parishes too will be transformed by your wonderful Stephen Conferences. God bless you and God love you. Take care.